Josh at Resort TV One has taken live streaming to a whole new level. Let's talk about it. Everyone knows that Josh at Resort TV One set the gold standard for live streaming at the theme parks. Not just Disney World, but the theme parks. He's the first person to live stream at the theme parks who was able to have like a clear screen. You can see everything. It's not blurry. Have a thriving community and he's done a great job but over the past few years there have been live streamers popping up everywhere now josh has always had a little competition here and there but now it's endless every time i go on youtube there's another live streamer at disney world disneyland universal it's endless and you know these people they come to town the carpetbaggers and well Every new live streamer takes viewers away from Resort TV One and all the other previous live streamers. And, you know, a lot of people have moved to Florida from all over the country, sometimes with their entire families, just to do what Josh and Jenna are doing at Resort TV One. Start a live streaming YouTube channel at the theme parks and spend the rest of their lives on vacation at Walt Disney World. And, you know, what competition does, it, well... It forces people to raise the game a little bit and do what they do even better. It's the American way. It's capitalism. And Josh, who's seen a lot of competition and some heavy hitters like Ron on the go come in and take away viewers that would normally be for them, he's taken it to a whole new level with what he's doing now. Josh has only done this one time so far, and I know it's probably very technically difficult and straining on his devices, but he did the first that I have ever seen, not just by coastal Walt Disney World live stream, he did a split screen. Resort TV One's Josh has a friend, his name's Brett, he's the Resort TV One West Coast Disneyland correspondent, and they did this shared stream this past Saturday. And what it was, it was a split screen. On the left side of the screen, Brett from Resort TV One West Coast was at the original Magic Kingdom Disneyland. And on the right side of the screen, Resort TV One East Coast Josh was at Walt Disney World's Magic Kingdom. And not only did they have a split screen from each park, the way they did it was just phenomenal. Beneath them, there was a graphic telling you which park was which, Disneyland, Disney World. And then what Josh and Brett did was to the best of their ability, go to the same parts of each park at the same time. They went down, started the train station through Main Street and went through the same lands. And they did this for three hours. Now, I imagine it's pretty tasking on the phones, right? Phones, when you're live streaming, can get pretty hot. And this added effort might be a little strain on the phones we have right now, but I loved it. And Josh and Brett from Resort TV One were talking about doing this in other places. They mentioned going to Universal Studio. So Josh would be at Universal Orlando and Brett from Resort TV One would be at Universal Studios Hollywood and do the split screen there, which would be phenomenal. If they could start at the Globe, oh man, that would just blow me away. Don't let anyone tell you that the vloggers and the live streamers are not in competition with one another. They are, okay? There's only so many viewers that want that type of content, and there's only so many hours in a day that people can watch theme park live streaming. So every new live streamer takes away some viewers from the past live streamers. Same goes for the vloggers. There's a lot of competition. And Josh from Resort TV One, if he makes this a regular thing, and I hope he does, and it doesn't just have to be East Coast, West Coast, he can do the split screens here in Florida with him at Magic Kingdom, Jenna at Epcot, or, you know, any possible combination you could come up with. But if he's got a West Coast guy that'll do it with him regularly, that is even better. And I promise you, the other live streamers, they're trying to figure out a way that they can do it too. But there's a lot of problems on top of the technical problems, all right? Some of the problems would be technical. How are you going to go out and get someone to take a break from their live stream and share a screen on your live stream? Who's going to want to do that? People might do it once or twice, but that'll get old real quick. So Resort TV One, because there's two of them, can find a way to do this on a very regular basis. I hope they do it. You know, you know, you go to Disney World or Disneyland, these are the most vlogged and live stream places on earth. So when someone like Josh has just done comes up with a new way to show the parks 
It's exciting. It's new. It's fresh. And I love it. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, like the video. My name is Brian. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll talk to you next time.